everyone and welcome back to a mile in my stilettos you guys i know you can see i just have my eyebrows on because today i'm going to be telling you about this ill maquillage new york foundation i woke up like this okay so i ordered the foundation i'm gonna be honest i was super weary of ordering this foundation because i was just like oh what if they can't match my color that i was really nervous about that i went online i took the quiz now in the quiz, they ask a lot of questions. Is your skin oily? Do you have acne issues? You want full coverage, medium coverage? They show you like 50 million pictures of people that match the shade you kind of say you are, and they keep narrowing it down and narrowing it down. I took the quiz one time and I was like, mm, I think this shade gonna be too dark. I'm not with it. I can't remember exactly what number they were matching me to that time, but the picture that they show of the foundation, I was like, I think it's gonna be too dark. And so I didn't get it. I went back and I took the quiz again and I was like, okay, I just gotta go for it. I have two foundations. One is a MAC foundation, which is this Studio Fix foundation. And it is in color number NW43. And I don't feel like it's a perfect match, which is why I'm still seeking out foundations, but the way the Studio Fit works, it kind of blends to any color, so once you're close enough, so I mean, it's been working for me, but it's I don't feel like it's perfect, and that's why I was still looking for something. And then I have this um, drugstore makeup when I use my drugstore makeup, and it is Maybelline Fit Me, and it is in color number 355, which is their Coconut Nyx Day Cocoa. And it's also a little dark, but you know, it's cool. I will say with the MAC, I don't even think it's necessarily that it's too dark. I think the undertones in it is kind of like off for my skin. But anyways, let me get into this Il Maquillage, okay? So it came in this beautiful packaging, you guys. I was like, okay, this is cute, she cute. And the box is pink so I just loved it. And now, the foundation comes in a separate box and then they have put this in the box and I was like, hold on, what is this? I'm not paying for whatever this is because the way that it works, they send you products that they have different products you can use like the trial version of. And I was thinking, I didn't order this and I'm not paying for this and then I realized when I read it was a free gift, so. <laughs> jokes on me they send you a trial and if the foundation or makeup or whatever it is that you purchase if it works for you then you keep it and you pay the full price for it if not you just send it back and you don't pay for it so they matched me with color number 170 and you guys I don't know you can let me know what you think I felt like it wasn't oh my gosh I couldn't get it out I I felt like it wasn't quite the right match. Let me let you see. So one of the cool things is it comes with a pump. So you're not like beating it down like you have to do with your MAC foundation or like this one. And MAC will sell a pump separately, but dang, I already bought the whole foundation. Why well, I gotta pay for a whole separate pump? So thank you, Il Maquillage, for that. You get one point for me for providing a pump, period. Now, they tell you not to apply it with your finger. They say either use a sponge or a brush. This is a sponge that I use when I have first put it on, but I wanted to start with a fresh sponge for them so I can just make sure I'm getting this true color, you know what I mean, like, situation, know what I'm really working with. So you just pump it like that, and then you put it on. And I was like, okay. This is funny, it's like the color of my shirt. I was like, okay. And then I was like, mmm, it matches. It's looking like it matches. But, I don't know. It matches, okay, so. I know some of y'all might be thinking, Crystal, it matches. What do you mean? Something about the undertone of this is like making me feel away. I will say... I don't know if the lighting has changed in my bathroom, but it's matching much better today than it did, I don't know, yesterday. <laughs> Y'all, I don't already contacted these people. So anyways, I told them I felt like it was slightly off. And the reason for that is I felt like the undertone was a little too reddish, orangish, or deep, I guess you could say. 
Um, and that's because like, look at look at my chest. Look at here. Let me um put some more so you guys can see. Look at my chest right here. It's too red. I feel. I don't know. I I I feel like it's too red for me personally, or too like orangish or something like. Is it awful? No. But for $44 and their commitment to getting it right, I want to give them the opportunity to get it right. So what I did was I contacted them and I was like, hey, you guys, um, what do I do? My foundation, it doesn't seem like it really matches truly, but I am committed to getting it right with you all because um, I do like the velvety smooth finish. I got like the matte one and I actually really like, it's very lightweight. I really like it. And um, they said, okay, you have one or two options. Either one, you can answer these two questions. And the first question was, is it too light or is it too dark? And I was like, it's too dark. And they said, "Is the second question was, is it slightly off, moderately off, or completely off? And so I, or option two was just send it back and I don't get charged for nothing. And I was like, well, I wanna get it right, so I said, um, that it was only slightly off and I told them that it was like too dark and I also in the email explained that I felt like it more so had to do with the undertone um, that it just seemed a little bit too orange for me and so they emailed me back and they're like okay well thank you for choosing option one you know trying with us again to get it right and for that we're gonna um, send you a $20 gift card or whatever that I could use with Il Maquillage for another product, as well as they're gonna be sending me out a new product when they figure out what they think will be the right color where it went wrong. And they told me just keep this other one. So I don't know, maybe like when it's like the summertime and my skin does get a little darker, I can use this in the summer. But they're like, don't even worry about sending it back since you're getting another one just you know we'll go from there so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing what it's gonna be like but i will say customer service goes a really long way with me and when people appreciate your business because also my um my box my foundation and stuff i didn't feel like it was taking them a long time to get here i ordered it and i guess i kind of forgot but maybe like two or three days after I ordered, they emailed me and they were like, we're sorry your package is taking so long. Um, to make up for it, we're sending you this $25 gift card that you can use anytime. So now I have $45 worth of gift cards that I could use. So I think once I know my actual shade for the foundation, I'm going to order the concealer that they pair with it and I'm kind of excited. I'm really hoping it's gonna work out. I do think they'll get it right the second time just because they were so close the first time. But when you're trying to pick the pictures to figure out what color it should be that you should get, it gets kind of hard because those skin tones start looking real similar on the computer. But I would say because they are truly committed to getting the right shade for you, it's definitely worth giving them a try because if they get it wrong, they're going to step up and do what they need to do to try to get you the right shade. You kind of have nothing to lose. They're not going to charge you if you don't keep it. So yeah, if you're not happy with your current foundation, I say give it a try. I love the way this feels. It's very white, lightweight. It's very velvety and smooth on my skin and i feel like this is a great beginner friendly makeup y'all saw how i was just smearing this makeup all over my face i am not a master makeup artist i'm trying to learn a lot more about makeup but for me this works because it allows me to be a novice a beginner and still you know leave out the house looking like <laughs> your girl be trying to be looking ready you know what i mean so anyways, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be giving you guys an update when they send my new foundation color so we can see how close they get to what my color should be. And just updating you on the process and what's the new color shade. But yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure you, again, subscribe to the channel and find out about all the other health and beauty tips that I have going on okay until next time